Go. Go. What do you think, buddy? Go do an overnight at the fort? Go camping? Oh, yep. That's a little snowy now. A little snowy. What are you doing, buddy? Move, go. Go on, buddy. No ice this time, which is good. And we didn't soak the dog with snow. <laughs> Perfect. How are you folks doing? This is going to be Tripper's first overnight at the fort. And this will be the first winter overnight at the fort this season. We got some projects to do, finish the bed, collect a bunch of firewood, rig up this better, put a chair in here, a tripod, cook up some good food, have a good warm night's sleep. It'll be a good day. Good day and good night. I got Tripper a backpack, as you can see. He's in there, he's got his sleeping pad, his top quilt, his food, um, and I think a couple other things as well. Let's get that backpack off of him and get his coat on him. Come here, Tripper. Good boy. This backpack is just a cheap one from PetSmart for now, until we figure it out. Oh, get up. Hey, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. Stop. I wanted to use this one until, until we figured it all out. So anyways, this is a temporary fix, but like I said, stock full of his stuff. Oh my goodness, this dog. That can go up there, and he's got his little, little Eddie Bauer winter. Hey, hey, that's your coat. Bring it here. Oh man, this dog. Okay. Now that he's got it soaking wet. Come here, big guy. Come here, come. Tripper, come. Come here. Leave it. Hold on, buddy. Good boy, there you go. There you go, be a warm dog. Good boy. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see how, how that works. <clears throat> so I was able to sneak a, a surprise here for him. He hasn't seen it yet at all. I assume he's going to really like it. And I think it will make things easier out here with him having his attention on this. Hey Trip, what's this buddy? Come here, come. Oh, it's that. Oh, let go, out. Get it. Oh, it's that. Oh, it's that. Out. Look at that. Legit sized tire. Durable. I'm hoping that he likes it. Do you like that? Out. Oh, he's got his toy. <laughs> oh, I think he likes it. Good. Look, he's so proud. He's so proud of his toy. Hold on. 
Hold on, hold on. Out. Oh, he likes his toy. He likes his toy. <laughs> Good boy. Okay, it's time to get my button gear. I decided to bring my Frost River Isle Royale Bushcrafter pack out because I do got some a little bit of goodies in there. It's a nice heavy pack. Uh, I'm just trying to find some cordage right now. I'm gonna rig up my tarp a little bit better with one piece instead of three pieces combined so that I can actually use the taut line hitch on the other side and tighten up that tarp from the other side. I'll show you exactly what I mean. This is probably a good piece to use. If you guys remember correctly, I tried to tighten this up on this side, pull it up. I pulled it up on that side, no problem. Tried to pull it up on this side, tighten it, and I couldn't because of the multiple pieces of paracord used. So I still might have to use two pieces, but I'll, I'll be able to connect them down farther towards that way so that the tight line hitch will not get impeded by the knot connecting the two ropes together. I'm sure that makes sense. Much better. More than high enough, all is well. Got to remove some snow back because uh, I am going to be having a big fire in front. I should have brought a little snow shovel, but I didn't. So I do have gloves. I have gloves this time. That'll help. And I do have another shovel here, just not a snow shovel. That's the joys of having this fort here. Being able to leave resources fun things to use out here. What are you doing, big guy? Still having fun with that thing or what? Let me throw it. Out. Good boy. Thing's got some heft to it. Oh, you got it, big boy. He got his toy. Out. Good boy. Get. Out. Good boy. He's such a good puppy doggy. Such a good puppy doggy. If you guys can remember that far back, I used this on my 10 day alone uh, series two or three springs ago. It's a great pack. Not lightweight. Not in the least. So we got a saw we'll need. I've also got my full size axe. And besides that, I have this pocket axe, this little outdoors axe from uh, Grantsford's Brooks. And I think I want to use this uh, on my, in my pocket the whole time, or at least on my belt. These are my oldest pair of Fall Raven pants. These are my Fall Raven Vita Pro trousers. I thought I would carry my axe today in that pocket, the, the axe or saw pocket that they have. It's nice and convenient. The walk doesn't impede anything when you need it, it comes out nice and easily uh, it does take a second to put put away but that's not such a big deal and then i can use it for things around camp like splitting up a little bit kindling for firewood uh clearing branches off trees and because of that i'm only carrying a tiny little fixed blade edc type uh from aa forge so yeah i only really usually bring one tool of each but i thought it'd be kind of fun to play around with like i said i got that big heavy duty backpack we're out here having fun anyway so
You be okay out there? Hey, big guy. It's much easier to swing this thing one-handed than the 26-inch axe, obviously. Make this flat. My mattress is going on top of it. Not flat, but you know, take the pokies out, right? Take the wiggles out. Wiggle your wobbles away. Take the sillies out. That's what it is. Remember the last video? There's a little bit of uh, uh, back and forth on the ideas of the bed, but I'm, I'm happy with what I've settled on. And uh, I'm hoping with all this weight on it, it's going to push it all down closer together, but I am going to tie it off. And I'm going to tie it off as well, and then it'll all be solid, but that's, that's looking pretty decent. So that goes there, let's get pushed down. That's a little bit of a dip. I might put that one on the on the end. Yeah, this is all gonna get tied in. Anyway, one, two more, two or three more tops, we're good. Yeah, the, this side is no good over here. I don't know if that's in frame. Oh, actually, it's getting a little bit more solid, but this doesn't have a support underneath it. This might have to get cut. Yeah, this one has to get cut a bit or dug down a little bit more. That's probably what I'll do. Okay. We'll get a couple more logs, then we'll tie it all together. I waited for today on purpose. The temperatures aren't going to be too bad. Maybe negative two tonight Celsius. So I think uh, it's a good night to, to test his winter uh, sleeping kit, his winter sleeping setup. Something nice about buckles, not for fast stuff, more nostalgic. I only got to get one more pole now. What are you doing? Okay. Move, Move. Good boy. Woo! That's one thing you got on Scout. Where's your toy? I'll use the long axe on stuff like this. It's just easier than bending down. I can't hold this one up, obviously. Good boy. Good toy. weighs 20 pounds. <laughs> it's full of snow inside of it. Okay, we've got them all on except for one. It's pretty cool how it ended up working out. Uh, it's fatter at this end, gets skinnier at that end, and this pole is the same here. So let's let's get this last piece on. Okay, that might be a little bit too uh, of a difference. On this side, but this side over here looks pretty decent. Look how flat that looks. It's 
pretty sturdy. I haven't tied anything on at all. Like I thought it would, the weight held everything on. I will still tie it all on and everything, but it's, it's definitely sturdy. Let's give it a little, little lay down. Trevor, stop, buddy, stop, stop. Kicking snow everywhere. Give it a little lay down and see. Oh yeah, oh yeah, nice and flat. Oh. Tripper stop. Okay. I had originally thought I would lay it that side, but the way it worked out, I can rearrange these logs too, it's not an issue, but the way it worked out that side is much more flat. And obviously, like I said before, it's a little short on the head, but you can sit like this, do one of these cool guy pose. Is that, a, is that, is that a cool? No mice yet to worry about on the pad. I know some people were commenting that. Oh, that adds a ton of comfort and warmth. Oh yeah, buddy. Oh yeah, bud. That's super comfortable. I'm confident enough to not have to tie it at all. I fixed up a couple little things underneath that won't support there, but it's good to go. Let me show you. I'm very happy with that. It gets solid. I have no, no worries, no reservations that it's not gonna hold me or that it's gonna topple over or anything like that. No tying necessary. I knew it would all come together. I know it looked like garbage in the last video. I, I get that. I even said it. I didn't leave it in the, the full video, I don't think. I think I edited it out, but I had people telling me like <laughs> crazy stuff. Anyways, it all works out in the end like I knew it would. Didn't even have to tie it. Turned it out way better as things do when you just put a little bit of time into them. It's looking real good right now. Oh, snow down the back. What are you doing, big guy? Hey? You a little cold? I'll get you in there and get you warm if you want. Anyway, so now what do I need to do? I need to put the plastic up. Um, but I also need to get firewood. I can probably get firewood whenever. It's uh, oh, it's two o'clock now. I don't got that much time before dark. Three hours. I do need to fix up my chair because I want to sit inside the, the shelter tonight. I need to get firewood, I need to hang up the plastic, and I need to make a tripod. I also need to melt some snow. But let's do the chair right now, because the chair might need to uh, melt, or sorry, dry off. This is the old Hidden Woodsman chair, and it is indeed wet. So we'll need to get a fire going and dry that out before I can actually use it, but. Let's get it set up properly so I can get it underneath the shelter. It has to be cut down, rearranged a little bit better. I don't want to have to move it around too much once it's in there. I can hear a plane. Yeah, let's do that. What are you crying about, buddy? I know. I know. Look out here. Out. Out. Ready? <laughs> like putting shot or shot put in layman's terms okay first we need to see how tall I should make them let's take this off completely so they need to be on the inside of this ridge pole which is going to make for a short chair so I need to start off with like I don't know man how high can it even be possibly to my shoulder I guess at the highest so cut it there oops gotta mark it
I'm gonna go find my find my saw now. So this piece of wood I'm gonna use to make a very sturdy tripod. That's a really dense, thick piece of wood. And that hopefully Tripper won't be able to knock that over. I have good ideas for cooking tonight and it involves a tripod. So hopefully this will work. laying on my on my chair there big guy because the logs are so short and I need to um, stretch out the the chair as, as much as possible I need to tie this cl very close to the top so all I have is just a loop and I'm running the paracord through it that's how I did it originally on this one it worked out fine so we're just gonna tie usually I tie it down way farther but we're gonna tie right there right at the top we're gonna wrap who knows what's next? Maybe a little, maybe a little frap. This is just strengthening everything together because we don't really have too much paracord to work with. Plan on using the same piece that I had before on it. Why not, right? Why use more? Used enough paracord on this thing already. This whole ch fort. Chipper, get out of there, big guy. Okay, that's on there pretty good. So one can go right back, almost underneath the bed. I don't know, might be tight. Okay, let's see. That does take up a lot of room in here. You might have to make a different type of chair long term. One of the things I really like about this chair is the ease of uh, setup. You can actually make this shorter too, just by wrapping it around. So it sits higher up. Yeah, this is all wompity. Yeah, there's no way. This is gonna be super low to the ground. Super low to the ground. Better than nothing, but it ain't gonna be great, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, we're gonna have to come up with a different plan for a chair in here. Anyways, we'll get this tied on. All right, I promise I have not sat in it yet. This is the, the maiden sitting. Yeah, it's not great. It's not great, it'll do, it'll do. Super straight sitting. Actually, it might help my posture. Where do you come from, where do you go, Hunchback Joe? But I'm completely enclosed in here. Yep, so this will have to do. Uh, yeah, okay, that's done. We'll have to come up with a different chair, like I keep saying, a different type of chair. It takes up less room. Oh, maybe the same one, the type of one that I built uh, on that 10 day, because it, it doesn't rely on a tripod. Anyways, Tripper's stuff is going to be there, so we're pretty much out of room now inside here. But, all right, I get. Firewood. I wanted to get a fire reflector built, but I don't know if I can pound into the ground still or not. Hey buddy, don't knock my camera over. First thing he did when we got here before I even started filming, I like set up the tripod, about to walk into frame, and he just runs into it, and just 
packs it all with snow. Like it's it's very packing snow right now, humid, and the lens and everything just. Anyways. Uh, okay. Plastic. We need to get that plastic up. Let's get that plastic up. We'll get this stuff moved out of here. These these logs. At least got to work on some firewood. Oh, and the tripod. We got to build that tripod. Which I'm excited to, to have for cooking. He doesn't seem to be cold at all. He seems to be doing pretty good. It's a much warmer day and he's he does have a winter coat coming in. I can see the tufts of fur popping over near his backside. And he's got that coat on. So I'll show you his setup later on. Actually it's in his it's in his uh backpack. What do I show you right now? So like I said, this is a temporary one. We're just trying to figure everything out right now. Oh, be careful my camera, man. You're right in front of it, dude. Um, yeah, so in here he's got his top quilt. This is uh, UGQ Outdoors made, especially for Tripper. Super excited to use it. I think that's that hex cam. Anyways, it's all all high tech and functioning and uh, hopefully gonna keep him warm. They use a little bit more durable of a material on the inside, I believe. Anyways, this isn't even in a compression sack. This is just in a stuff sack and I'm still able to get it in the pocket of this cheap PetSmart uh, dog backpack. So that's good. Uh, I can get it smaller in a compression sack. And on this side, he's got his dog food his bungees for his, his setup, and then this is his sleeping pad. It's a children's climate uh, sleeping pad, it's short. Uh, so as long as he doesn't puncture it, we'll be doing all right. And this, I do, did want to test all this out for our uh, uh, backpacking trip. We were gonna do in the fall, didn't work out, or now we're gonna do it in the spring or the summer of next year. But anyways, this will be the setup that he would use. Um, not in the summer. In the summer, I wouldn't, wouldn't need this. In the spring or in the fall, I, I would bring this for him. And then his food again, like I said. Man, the plane, the plane. But anyways, it can only get better from there. We get in a smaller sack, we get a better backpack. Uh, the only caveat, if that's the right word, is if he pops or shreds his sleeping setup. If that's the case, I don't know what to do for him. For this type of stuff, I could just bring a wool blanket in warmer weather, but for like backpacking and hiking and stuff, that's not gonna cut it. So, and my backpacking is normally done in cooler weather. But we shall see, and canoeing, we shall see. But this is pretty, pretty handy. I don't even know what brand this is, Roughwear or something maybe, I have no idea. PetSmart Special, but it's already got two big tears in it. I mean, it's not very durable, so. Anyway. Okay, as you can see, I have a ton of space underneath there for storage now. That's what I was talking about in the last one too. And because I have to get these out of the way, because Tripper and I are spending the night, there's no room, those big logs are going under there. Who knows, if worse comes to worse, I might burn a couple tonight, uh, depending. I do have uh, adequate sleeping gear so i'm not going to need the fire all night but i do need to keep stripper warm out or warm him up if he gets cold so who knows i might burn one or two of these we'll see they're nice and dead i just hurt my foot real bad kicking that <laughs> but that's the beauty of this bed now i can store things underneath it it's even more like home very homely very home like Okay, those are the four big ones anyway. Now is the, uh, the real test to see if this even fits here. I never tested this once to see if this would cover the spot. It's super thick. It's way thicker than the stuff I use for my super shelter. Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll be golden. We'll be golden here. 
thing is now, how do I attach it? Because I've got to get it up onto here somehow, secure. And then I need to, I could, on the bottom is fine, I just have a, a, a stick draped there, or, or with a stick, yeah, bottom will be fine. I need to figure this out though. I have some tape, I brought tape just in case, but it seems horrible to use tape on this, and I don't know how well it would work anyway. I can use buttons, I can make buttons on here, tie them on here, wrap them around, that's what I'll do. I won't use snow because it will get super hot and they will melt. But we can use little pieces of twigs or something. Okay, let's go get some of that and some paracord. Actually, you know what? Because I gotta try and sneak it through all in here, I can use this thinner cord, at least for one of them. Okay, I'll go get some, uh, some something to use as buttons. Buttons, buttons, buttons. Right ho. Right ho. Buttons. Buttons, 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 buttons. Where's your coat? You take your coat off? How did you manage that, bro? Huh? <laughs> well, we need to put it back on you. You're not going to be warm enough without it. Look at that dark, dark face. Oh, there's the shepherd wine. No, get off the coat, though. Get off your coat. What are you... This thing is just wrecked already, bud. No, no, Tripper. There's some Primloft in it. But the inside is... No! The inside is fleece, so it gets kind of wet, which is not a very good design. Come here, Tripper. Okay, I did a little bit already. It was too hard to figure it out in film, but I'll show you what I did on that side, exactly the same on this side. So for button material, I just got some balsam fir uh, needles. And also, I used that skinny piece of rope on the other one, the whole thing, so I'll have to use paracord on this one. No big deal. So, the plastic's big enough where I can wrap it around a bit. <gasps> Excuse me. So I think if I put... If I put the, uh, the button right around here, it would be a good spot for it. So, you saw how I did it, I just wrapped it in, made a ball around it with the plastic. Now you can use a sheet bend, or I mean a lark's head with this. I just do a couple overhands because I'm Joe, and I'm very, just a simple kind of man, you know? My mom told me when I was young, you'd be hanging plastic, son. All right, so, that's on there. Maybe I can come on the outside here. Okay, so I'll just tie it here. Actually, you know what? Might go around diagonally. Now, I really have no idea how much this is going to reflect through, the, the heat's gonna reflect through this thick. I think it's still gonna be fine. I think it'll just be more durable. The other one was like, I'm talking like an eighth this thick as this. Anyways, now I need to find a big long log to put at the bottom. I can use this one for now. It's heavy enough, jeez Louise. I do have gloves. I'm gonna have, there's some tears in this. As I said before, when I got it, this was just out of my basement, I believe, or my garage. It was there before. One of the previous owners. But I do have the tape to tape it up. I have the tape.
So this needs to be wrapped around. Let me show you that. I guess I won't put it up till nighttime anyway, so it'll be fine. But that's in there pretty good. You know what I mean, that's pretty decent. Let's go around, check it all out. I have no delusions that this is airtight. I know that it's not, but it definitely will give me some heat through. There's a big gap there. That's not bad. Wrap that around, that's much better anyway. That's pretty good, man. That's looking decent. It's all wrapped around. Very cool. That will work 100%. No doubt in my mind that that will, that will work. Let's try and leave this down and go in and check it out and see how much room I have. I should have brought a GoPro for a wide angle. But yeah, this is a far will go there. This is good. One big step away. Have it right in this pit where I already have been having them. Bam, son! Hey buddy, what are you doing? You good? Oh, he's got his toy. He got his toy. Leave it. Oh, leave it. All right, let's see if we can get in here. Definitely can't fit in there. So we're gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to do one of these. We can do it, I swear. Okay, okay, I gotta fix that. Okay, I can definitely get it all set up from in here too. No problems. Cool, very cool. Well, it's, uh, it's tight quarters, you know. I don't know how much I'll be able to sit on that. Let's try. Oh yeah, good view, good view, you know. <laughs> anyway, it'll be okay. That's the real piece to resist on us right there. This nice, flat, lovely, elevated bed. Oh, I'm going to get a good night's sleep. In all honesty, this, sh this sheet is not necessary for me. It's for the dog, so it won't be like this every time. But anyways, it works. It's good to know that I can do that if I want to and then taking this down is super easy setting it up is super easy You can fold it up and store it in here too Okay, that's done. Let's get this up and out of the way and uh, work on the tripod I want to cut this in equal parts in three. I want to cut this in thirds. Let's eyeball it and see where we get. Oh, <laughs> 
I know, I know. Out. Oh, boom, that's pretty good. And that is pretty, pretty good. Now, I don't want to clean off all the pokies too much because this is a tripod and having somewhere to um, hang stuff is a good idea sometimes. Oh, buddy. There you go. Very, very hefty. Quite hefty. There we go. There we go. Holds my hundred pounds. Sold. So obviously that can be moved around and the reason I wanted it so big once again was so that tripper could not, well, had a harder time knocking it over. I don't want to say could not, would have a harder time knocking it over. Okay, that's that, move this out of the way. I need to make, I need to cut some firewood actually, that's what I need to do. Cut some firewood, make some more pegs, start getting supper ready. Probably move this out of the way too until I need it. Update. I'm back from my hike looking for firewood. I found nothing. Came back up to the fort. I'm getting pretty chilled. Um, uh, I'm a little bit hungry too. I think I might make a fire with just some twigs right now and, and have that going while I go look for, for, for actual fuel for big firewood because I need a bunch for today to cook on tonight to cook on and keep warm. But um, I also want to get warm right now. Want some of this? Go, bud. Oh. Yeah. Um. So I think that's what I'll do. Down. Good boy. I can feel the temperature dropping. I say I am chilled. Been productive already today. Bed finished. Tripod built. Um, tarp fix, sheet hung, chair built, sometimes when you see me drag something out, it's, it's, it's on purpose, it's not because I can't get it done, it's because I need, oops, sorry, because I need to keep making videos, I need some content. I don't ever try to stretch things too much. Whenever I come out, it's not hard for me to get an hour's worth of footage in an afternoon or a day. Partly because I run my mouth so much. <laughs> the old venison. Peppery is all get out. Tripper likes it. Good boy. Oh, poke to be nine. Oh, poke up a nine. Oh, my good boy. Oh, my good boy. You want a lady in the trumpet? Here. 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 <laughs> good boy. 
Did you even chew that? Did you even chew? Eh? Hey? That's garbage. That's garbage, Trevor. Stop, bro. So I got my flint and steel kit. That's how we'll start the fire today. I don't know if anyone is confused, but some people are about flint and steel and fire steel. Fire steel is a ferrocium rod, ferrocium rod, mesh metal, two separate things, but also the same thing in a rod form, right? So that's that's a fire steel. When people reference fire steel, that's what they mean, okay? Now people reference flint and steel. This is what they mean. It doesn't have to be in this pouch at all. But a flint and steel is a piece of, so the, they're referencing flint as a piece of rock. It can be chert, can be probably obsidian, jasper, um, quartzite, hard enough quartzite. I believe this is a piece of flint. This, the steel is this, usually a C-shaped striker that you graze off the flint. I don't know if you can see the sparks from there creating sparks and then you have to put those to char cloth or chaga tinder fungus or milkweed ovum something along those lines 90% of those things have to be um, uh, procured for oh, procured first and like um, prepared first is the word I'm trying to say prepared first you can't just grab them but sometimes you can I have some Cecil or jute twine because right now, other than like yellow birch that's covered in ice, there's really nothing to uh, make a tinder bundle out of. You can make a lot of shavings, I've done that. It's just a little bit hard, but we have this in our kit, so this is what we'll use. We're gonna unravel this as much as possible and make it like a bird's nest type thing. I know this is rudimentary to some people, but to some people this is new as well. So, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna spend the next, I don't know, five minutes making a decent sized bird nest to make a tinder bundle to blow that char cloth that catches the spark from this stuff into flame with. Now the fire steel, when you're using the fire steel, you don't need to use char cloth. This is actual charred cotton. Okay, and that when you, it'll catch a spark very easily. So with a fire steel, with that rod that's, that I showed you, you can use wood shavings, you can use this stuff it, itself, you skip a step. You don't have to go from char cloth to tinder you can go right to tinder so it's it's easy it's it's newer though this this flint and steel has been around for ages this is what the uh, voyagers would use to light their pipes and this is this this was this was the bic lighter of back in the day i think i'm going to give this fire a good start and start on these two big old logs here i was going to use them for shelter building before but turns out i didn't need them because of my ingenious bed build Super happy about that, can you tell? So we'll start the fire right on those guys. See how that goes. I'm gonna brace here. It's not dry. Um, I got my, I know, but I got my kindling and all that stuff ready, so let's get this going. I did gather a little bit of wet, oops, uh, birch bark just to, just to add fuel to the fire type of thing. Um, my bird's nest here, out, leave it. Oops, I wanna keep everything dry as possible. So I gotta get a good amount of uh, this char cloth because if memory serves me right, oh, it's all crushed up too. It was not the greatest char cloth in the world. So I'm probably just gonna use it all. I have to make some, this is made of something very thin. My favorite way to do it is to make it out of old cotton jeans or like a super thick terry cloth. That way it's good to go. But anyway, where is, where is Striker? Hello Striker. There you are. Okay, you ready? So it's caught.
and get my birch bark ready. My twigs are right there. Just giving it air constantly here. I don't want to breathe this in, so I can probably actually bring it into flames like just like this. There we go. That looks like it'll take. I'll have to go ah, find some real fuel now though. This is the this is the warm-up fire. This is the keeping things going fire. Now I gotta find some actual fuel. But the, the good thing is these two big logs underneath here uh, that I put there. You ready? We'll we'll char up and start to add to the fire, which is great. Super helpful. Let me get some some more twigs on here now real quick. I got them all behind me. Char cloth. I will make some, but actually maybe in a future video, that'll be part of the video, I'll make some char cloth up. Again, I know a lot of people know how to make it, but it's good to think of the people who don't know how to do it as well. My piece of flint. You can make all that stuff up too. You can use the back of a belt knife, like a 01 carbon steel. You can use um, a file, an old file, and cut it down and use that for a striker. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. And like I said, nine times out of 10, you can find something hard enough to, to uh, strike it off. When you're using that, you're actually shaving pieces of the metal off with the, the rock or whatever, the flint in this case. Okay, more firewood now. Tripper's trying to grab it at the other end. <laughs> but come on, man. I know, I know. Okay, fix up this fire. There's really not that much firewood to be honest with you. Okay, it's accumulating now. I only have one or two pieces of hardwood, so um, still on the search for that. But I want to get this all bucked up into burnable pieces, and we'll see how the firewood stack looks. This heat from the fire is making all this snow drip off the trees and come down in big clumps. I'm glad I started it. It is putting off just the right amount of heat that I need. Just throwing odds and ends on there every now and then, keeping it going. It's more coals than anything, but flames up easy as you can see. Give me that. There's my toy. There's my toy. Uh, we're losing light, but I'm done cutting up all that wood. You can see the pile there. This is all the odds and ends here. Just threw on the fire. It's died out, but the coals are still going. I'm sure I can blow it into flames here. Trippers being tripper. 
Hey, hey. I know. I know. This will go up in one second here. Coals are too far away from there we go. The twigs. Oh man. Just about five now. Time to get some food on. Oh man. Oh I worked up a worked up some warmth. Worked up some warmth. Look at that tail. The coffee table sweeper. What are you doing, big guy? Well, that's about perfect. The sparks are coming up and just, just to the outside of the tarp. Perfect setup. Exactly what I was going for. I knew exactly what I was doing when I set it up, I promise. Those are ashes flying in the air. Oh, we're getting dumped on, man. I'm telling you, this heat coming off of this thing is making all the snow drop off, off the trees. Right, trips. Right ho. Right ho. Oh. Oh, that was a good throw, eh? Sorry, bud. Look, he's already ripped this this jacket. Oh, it's your Christmas present, bro. This is why you can't have anything nice. I already ripped it. Hey, trip. It is keeping it more though warm though. When I reach my hand inside there, I can feel nothing but warmth and ice, which is an oxymoron. Just like trip. Oh, it's it's all heavy, bud. It's all all on the heavy side. <laughs> That's better. Okay. That's something. I'm gonna have to rig up my cooking platform right about, right about here. This will be perfect, actually. That's it's a really good. Oh yeah, that's a really good heat right there. Okay, perfect. All right, we're doing something different today. It's no steak day today. You need to go, go. Good boy. Um, we're gonna make us some homemade hamburgers. So I got some ground beef from the farm. Super high quality stuff. We're gonna mix it up, nothing else but some salt and pepper. And hopefully what I have in mind works. It might. I'm hoping it holds together enough and we got our meats and also we have in our trusty hidden woodsman food bag hopefully some salt and pepper oh Joe did you pull a Joe come on 
Oh, you know what? I know exactly where it is. Save the day, save the day. Joe Robin there, saved his own day. Hello! There we go. Okay, so. We're in frame still, yes, we're good. I want to clear something up. Um, the Joe Robinette pots with the Scout logos, the, they, the lids do stay on on the bigger ones. I didn't realize they didn't on the smaller ones. I didn't test on that the little video I did on Instagram. So the big lids stay on, the small pot lids do not when you tip them over. But my whole point in saying that was they're not like the Snow Peak one where if you look at it wrong, it just explodes off of it. Regardless, they both stay on pretty well. This one's obviously pretty good on there. So in here, in my pot of wonders, we have sea salt, cracked pepper with garlic. We've got a pickle. We've got a bun, a big old nice bun that fit in here. Absolutely fantastically. We got onion, we got mustard. Check this out. Oh, I'm just dropping it all. Check this out. Whoop. Whoop. Yep. Anyway, we got all the fixings there for a good burger. Can I take you? Oh, the good burger. There's a good burger. We got our spices. Put them all in. Because why else would we bring them, right? Use them all up. Forgetful Joe. Where's my spice, bro? Okay. Let's get this all in one little corner. Cake frosting. I don't know why I said confectionery earlier. Cake frosting style. It might be the same thing. Probably not. We'll do that and then we'll go. That off. Now hopefully with any luck this will work out. Oh, it's so gross. No, this is not going to work. Nope. Okay. No worries. Get our hands a little dirty. I got some sanitizer. We can clean them off after. That's funny. You don't ever, never know unless you try, right, Joe? Right. Never know unless you try. Oh, as long as I'm doing this, I might as well knead it in a little bit better. Nobody. These are gonna be hefty. Hefty the burgers. Hefty burgers. No bud. Okay. So that's gonna go like that. Then with any luck, we're gonna get this grill to go on top, smoosh it down a bit, and then we can um, kind of rotisserie it side to side. I think it'll work. They're, they're holding together pretty good. So let's try and get that on there. Yeah, this will work. Hear the plane? Okay, so this might be easier on the first one than on the second one. I made the burgers a touch on the big side. That's okay. Okay. Ah. Okay, it's pinched in there. There we go. Now we just got to do this side. Come on. There we go. Okay, they're both on. I gotta tie them tight, but that's the gist of it. And then, boop, rotisserie, right? Makes sense to me. I'm <laughs> just squeezing out the holes. But this can be used for other things too, for sure. 
Leave it, buddy. Not for you just yet. Getting this little rack built up here so I can hang my uh, burger properly. Hey, burger! Okay, she's on there good. Let's get this burger cooking. I put top line hitches, or sorry, I put uh, Canadian jam knots on either side. It's pretty sturdy now, as you can see. And then the whole gist, it just goes like this. Oh. oh, oh, there we go. So we can control it. It's stuck up against here, it's gonna lay flat. Over here, it's gonna tip. We can tip it and have it lay flat. Uh, this way. It's not as good as I thought. Oh, there we go. It'll work either way. So it's gonna lay that flat that way or flat that way. Either way, it's okay. It works. So I'm going to build up this fire a little bit just because it's not very hot. Put some hardwood on there and uh, we'll be eating before you know it. That looks really good. Can't tell me otherwise. Any trip? Any good boy? We'll get, we'll get his bed set up too. I'll put some firewood on there get his bed set up. pieces. Give that a little bit of a fan. And that will go up nicely. Hey buddy. Yeah we'll get you your pad. You're laying on it. He's laying down now. He hasn't laid down all day. So we'll get him his sleeping stuff out. That way he can stay warm off the ground. And I can show you show it off to you what it consists of. Buddy, we'll get you up off the ground here in a hot second. Even if you're not tucked into your top quilt, we'll get you off the ground. Okay, so this tiny little sleeping pad is all tripper. Gotta blow it up. It, is, it does seem pretty durable compared to my uh, Thermarest. I've got these straps that I'm gonna need, and then on the other side, oh, there's food too. The other side will be his warmth, his top quilt. All right. This is actually a pretty cool sleeping pad. It's almost as tall enough for tall enough for me. I might even use this in the summertime. Um, just put my pack down by my feet. But anyways, it's pretty durable. I like the idea of it. It's got an inflate and a deflate valve. Watch this big deflate valve, right? And then the inflate valve is smaller. I actually blew it up through the deflate because it took less breaths. And then finished it up over here. It is durable. It feels way more durable than my Thermarest. Let's see if he lays on it. Let's see how he does. Tripper, come here, big guy. Come. On top. Down. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Well, you should stay all on top of it. That would be better for you, but... Good boy. So then, to the best of my knowledge, um, this quilt gets attached to the underneath of the uh, the pad with bungees, and then he'll be in there like a little burrito, which is pretty slick. They never made one before. This is the prototype. They made it up just for Tripper. So this is gonna go around the, the end of it, tuck in, I'm sure. Uh, and then there's, yeah, exactly, little snaps where I can put straps from here on and buckle it on so it's not going to go anywhere um yeah that's exactly what it'll be i'm sure chad if you're watching i never watched your instructional video that's just me being me pulling old joe but i believe that i figured it out all on my own like a big boy maybe not though because this is this is looking 
more complicated than I had thought. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. What is this? What is this? Yeah, okay. It's just doubled up. That's fine. And this just unbuckles. Right? Yep. This unbuckles. So that this will get run. Oh no, it just gets attached to here. Even better. This gets attached. The, 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 the quilt has it completely right on it already. Perfect. Boom. And then this will go to the other side. And then it's got cinches to make it tighter and, and, and looser. That's what the, the whole extra thing is about. Okay, cool. Yeah, man. Here, up. Get up for a minute. Watch out. Up, 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 up. Up, up, up. Up, 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 up. 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 Almost. You almost listened to me. So, it'll go like this. These bungees go on here. Well, this is slick, man. This is really, really slick. Okay, so that'll go there. This can get tightened up around his head. And I'll put another bungee down. Oh no, that's that side. I'll put another bungee there. I don't know if you guys care about this. I think this is super, super slick. Ingenious. All right, so got another. Hope you can see it. There's a buckle built into the quilt, sewn right on, that this clips into. Clip. And then we'll loop around and meet its matching part on the other side. Click. Then I can tighten it. And it's all bungee. So it's going to be snug the whole time. Maybe I can't tighten it. Maybe that might be. Oh, that is as tight as it goes. Okay. So that's on there. And then he can climb in the middle of this. And I can bungee it up around his head. Come here, Tripper. Come here, big guy. Come. Down. Good boy. Yeah, there you go. There you go. You stay nice and warm like that, buddy. Good dog. Stay. Pretty cool, man. Pretty, pretty cool. It's all bungeed in. Yep, and then when he wants to bail, he can. <laughs> but yeah, you just gotta... I'll have to help him every time. Get under there. And I'm sure I'm not doing this correctly on the top. It seems like he can buckle down, but he'll be fine tonight with that. That's a slick setup, man. That'd be good for my kid. Like, I could go backpacking with that for Emerald. That'd be totally fine. Slick, man. Thank you. Thank you, Chad. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks, Chad. What up? This is Chad thanking Chad. <laughs> Chad vibe. This is perfect. He just went on there by himself and curled up. He already knows. Good boy. He already knows that that's his. That's where he can lay to stay warm. Good boy, Tripper. That's awesome. That's really cool. I love the fact that it can fit in his backpack. I love the fact that he knows it's his and that it's pretty durable. This will be straight. This will be super good for him. Do everything with this. I'm really stoked on this, guys. Can you tell? All right, let's flip him and see. The first flip. Oh, nice brown. That's a nice brown. That's what you want to see. All right. Yes. I've got to get the rest of my food ready while that's cooking up. She's got to be almost done, actually. I got a can of beans, and along with the can of beans, I have my blue farmer. And I actually had someone comment, I saw in my last video that I had this blue Swiss Army farmer. Does he even realize how rare that is? I do. And the story behind this. Mm, just ripped my fingernail. For anyone who's interested, my buddy Home Slice back in the day from Bushcraft USA, that was legit his forum name, the real name Brandon. Good dude out of Missouri. Young guy, one of the only young guys there. So we were 
Very good buddies. We still talk every now and then through text. A very witty person. Doctor, actually. He's a doctor. Um, Doogie Hauser. But he gave me this. He actually bought them for his groomsmen. And they didn't want them. They were like, what is this? <laughs> or he, something along those lines. He, he switched his mind. He changed his mind. So he ended up giving them a couple away. I got one. This guy JCLMD got one. I think one like a Josh got one. Real name for a real reason. Um, I can't remember. Maybe Terry. Maybe he gave Terry Barney one. Only a few people got one of these. And I know they're super rare. And I've used it forever. I've made split wood fires with this. Batoning this. Everything. This thing has stood up to the test of time for years. I want to say like eight years at least. Anyways. Can opener works still as you can see. We're going to get all of the fixings out of the cooking pot. We'll pour our beans in there. Get from here. Mmm, smells like beans. Just getting beans all over myself. <laughs> Alright. Boop. Boop. Burn. Remember Mr. Bean? Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Okay. That's good. Not strong enough to lift it with the beans in there. No, not gonna do it. Okay, I whipped up a pot hanger already. Let's go check that out. And we'll hang this up. Oh, this one doesn't have a bale on it. That was the problem. This was one of the prototypes. It didn't have the bale. I didn't even realize that. Son of a gun. We're going to have to set this next to the fire. I made that pot hanger for nothing. I don't even have any wire where I can rig this up as a... Oh, that sucks. I didn't even realize. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. Womp, womp. just have to watch it. It'll be easy to burn them this way. Still loving that or what? You doing good in there? Good boy. Look at that. Nummy nummy num num num. Alright, I'm calling everything done. Get some more wood on this fire. I'll meet my supper. So I cannot take credit for this cooking setup. I did see it on Instagram, credit where credit is due is very important to me. I do not remember the dude's name. I apologize, I didn't write it down, I didn't screen grab, I just saw this and I thought this was a great idea. Now I had a couple of these grills laying around from when I used to sell them. If you don't remember, I was one of the original people selling these grills. A lot of people just took it and ran with it, but anyways, just had a couple of these laying around. I thought that would be a good use for them. So all I'm doing right now is cutting off the paracord that had my Canadian jam knots, Canadian jam knots on there, holding the sticks together. As you can see, I can hold the grill with my hand; it's not too hot. So let's see. My only concern is that when I pull this up, it's just going to rip. The burgers apart. The burger. Oh, it might happen. That's gonna happen. Darn it. Darn it. I can't even get them apart. <laughs> oh, this might be a mess, guys. Alright, there we go. Yep, this is a mess. This is a mess. Well, I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't have any other way, you know? This is par for the course for old Joe. So let's let's try and fix this mess that I just made. Well these are medium rare, which is totally fine for me. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> this... <laughs> oh man. Eh, we can only laugh, right? Because if we la if we don't laugh, what else? Like, what? What? I'd be angry at myself for this. It was a good idea. It was a good idea. Anyway, this other one might have turned out better. I'll give Scout Tripper this uh, this beat up one. Let's see if we can finesse this other one off of here. There we go. Not so bad. It's almost like a real burger. Almost still intact and everything. Everything. I did forget some cheese. That is a cardinal sin. <gasps> Nothing? Okay. So, I'm okay with mine. Mine's not half as mangled as trips. Mine's going to go on my bun. It's a perfect size, actually, for a big old bun like that. I might steal a little piece from Chipper here. There we go. So I'm gonna be set with one of these. I'll give him a little taste. Here you go, buddy. Here, Chipper. Chipper. Here. <laughs> he was sleeping. He woke up and was like, oh, number gnomes. All right. So we do have some fixings. We got a healthy amount of onions. Healthy amount of pickles, no ketchup because ketchup is a secondary condiment to me. It's not a it's not a primary. You know what a primary condiment is? The old mutard. The old mutard. Gotta have some mustard. Mustard man, mustard man. I can eat mustard faces. You can. All right. Okay, we're good. Sitting pretty. Sitting pretty. Cheers, boys and girls. Mmm. Tasty. Very tasty. So now I have this plus his dry food, but I'm sure he'll appreciate this much more. Good boy. The spices are perfect. Not too heavy on anything. Just the right amount. I don't know if he's in frame, but you can probably hear him gobbling that down. I have a refreshment for dinner time. Might have had one or two before. Cheers. Ooh, cold as the Dickens. This is a fun, fun day. Very fun day. Lots of accom lots of accomplished. I got a lot accomplished. Mmm. Almost forgot. But the musical fruit. Mmm. -hmm. Just thinking about it, you know. Just thinking about it gets me going. Woo! Mmm. They go well together. Beans and burger. Black flies and blueberries. And brook trout. And bacon. It's almost Christmas. Right now, today is uh, four days before Christmas. Bought Emmy uh, a four-wheeler, a small one, a kid's four-wheeler, so she can accompany me, accompany me on little trips around the house, which is pretty cool. She'll be just jazzed for it, I'm sure. supper now. It was super good. I'm going to get move this thing out of the way. That way I can throw some more 
uh, logs on, create a little bit more of a longer fire going on. I'll try and keep my pot hook that I made that I didn't have to use. Watch out, buddy. Move. funny kind of mixing, marrying this new school and old school gear. It's really my style. Just use whatever works, whatever I like doing. I'm not really set on one thing. Except for maybe not using buckles anymore. <laughs> there we go. I'm chilled, man. I'm feeling myself shivering. Get some pine needle tea going. All right, I have most of my sleeping stuff in here. I do have a bivy somewhere in here. I'll have to dig it out. So I've got my top quilt. I've got my scully cap. And I've got my pillow, all in this, I think it's a 10 liter Sea to Summit st uh, compression sack. Uh, there's my bivy. There is my bivy. Hold on, buddy. One second. out of here, set up the plastic and lay down. <coughs> Trevor's been, excuse me, Trevor's been trying to come on my lap. Got out of his bed, so try to make it warm in here for him. For me too, I'm actually pretty chilled. I do have one more layer I could put on, but let's see this plastic, how it works. Spreading this long fire out quite a bit. Um, all right, I guess we'll just do it. My button. My button. My button's here still. Away from the flame. Away from the flame. We'll just use a short log. That way I can wrap wrap the uh, plastic around where I need to. Got that much wood left anyway. Uh, I'm about ready for what? I'm about ready for bed soon. All right, let's get in there. Let's see if it's any warmer. Come on, come. Go inside there. Go. Trevor. No. Come. Go inside there. Good boy. I think my other flashlight died out on me. 
Go on. Oh no, I didn't. Ah, oh, shit. Go on. Okay. Good dog. Stay there. <sighs> okay. That's good there. Can feel warmth coming through quite a bit actually. Once that fire kicks up a little bit more. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. This is actually pretty slick in here, man. Especially without that uh, the chair taking up the room. Like I have a legit a lot of room. Dog's there. I'll stand next to the dog. Got all that room. I could push that out a touch more that way if I wanted to. Put the bed. Not enough room for another bed here or cot or someone could sleep on the floor. Old doggo. I gotta fix you up again, eh, bud? We'll fix you up. Something fierce. I'm gonna tape up this cut in the plastic from the inside. Then the next time I go out to feed the fire, I'll do the same on the outside. I just don't want to go out unless I have to because I know Tripper's going to follow me. It's a little bit of an ordeal getting getting everyone back and situated in here. i got to take them on a, on a hot tent trip. That's, that's my next big winter trip for sure. Tape. A little gash there. Oh, look how comfy the tripper is. He's a comfy at those eyes. Oh, Dad. Oh, Dad. It's getting warmer. Alright, guys. Well, I'm just going to get my sleeping pad in here. I wasn't going to use one, but I'm laying down feeling the cold through that little bit of foam. That foam alone isn't enough. I'd have to have some bows on it. But anyways, I do have my sleeping pad just in case. So I'm just gonna blow this up and lay down, get to bed. We'll see how it goes. I gotta keep this dude warm. That's my main thing. I know I'm gonna be warm with what I have. He seems totally fine. He seems content underneath there. So we'll see, but uh, other than that, I'll get with you guys in the morning. I do have some bacon and oatmeal to cook up, which will be good in the morning. <laughs> Alright guys, wish me luck, wish the dog luck more like it. I'll see you in the morning. All right. It's two thirty. Fire looks like it's gone out completely. Yeah, he's up. He's up and ready to go. Uh, her back. Back up. It's all wet. Hey, come on, bud. Looks like snow got like clumps of snow fell into the fire. It's dead cold. I bet. 
Oh yeah. My goodness. Okay. Tripper, what are you doing? It's not playtime, buddy. Alright, get this fire going, get back to bed. Alright, that's much better. It only took about 20 minutes. Back to bed. Hey, Trip. He brought his toy back in. But he seems to be warm enough. I'm not even going to tuck him in that uh, thing. This isn't as efficient as the the other super shelter I built, not at all. There's gaps everywhere, but there's a certain amount of warmth coming through. I'm nice and warm. This dude seems fine. Hey, buddy. Boy. Alright. No, lay down. No, we got to stay in here now, man. Tripper. Down. Good morning. It's almost seven. Looks as though the fire's gone out completely again. I'll have to get up and stoke it and build it up again. I slept pretty good on and off since two. Uh, Tripper's got up a couple times, moved around. I haven't got got to, to fix his bed or anything. He seems to be okay. <sighs> This is a nice flat bed. I stay warm. I gotta get up and pee. Better than that. I wouldn't get up. <laughs> I'd stay in bed. But let's get up, cook some breakfast. tie him up or anything he just stayed there I imagine it's mostly because of this enclosed thing he will bust through that if he really wants to but yeah good boy tripper good boy oh there's a spider crawling on him that's craziness see it on his coat He's trying to get warm Warm me up, Tripper. Warm me, Mr. Spider Seas. Oh, it's so warm in here. Oh. Hey, good boy. You getting up too, eh, bud? Excuse me. Oh. I'm standing on his sleeping mat so as to not stand on the ground. The cold, cold ground. Crescent moon left. I don't expect there to be any coals, any warm coals. No. It's all soaked too. I, the snow's been dripping down. Oh, there is some glowing. Hopefully, it can blow it back into flames. I'm 
get my, my sit pad and fan it. Okay, Tripper. This thing is drenched, man. There's like a puddle in the bottom of it. Okay, grab some twigs, throw the rest of my firewood on, get warm. Where are my gloves? Ugh. Oh, they're stiff. They be stiff. It's almost all water. I put a pot of snow next to the fire last night. It's almost all turned to water. That's helpful. to get this other layer on I'm not warming up that great I do like having I do like having the two toques I like having the two toque system uh, my scully which is very lightweight and warm for at night and then my normal turbo acrylic for daytime turbo acrylic and I got my puffy on now my same tried and true black Primloft Puffy that I always have, I've had it on alone, and then this coat will go over top, oh I can feel the warmth already, I had no kind of down or Primloft on at all, it was just sweater, oh I gotta put my, my belt together, my Batman belt together, Ooh, whoop. Batman, bit tight quarters last night between myself and the wood behind. I'm glad I had this bivy because this material is kind of thin and it might have ripped on some of these twigs. I do have to fix that up, um, but all is well. Slept well. I'll let a little bit of air out of my, well, I'll let, I'll open the valve and that way when I sit on it, 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 it uh, empties automatically. I'm gonna zip this up just so that it's nice and safe in there, in the bivy sack. But if I'm using a wool blanket um, or anything like that here, or even a normal sleeping bag, I wouldn't really worry about it too too much. Um, so that's all taken care of. I've tucked trippers halfway underneath the bed and, or in case he needs to come and lay down. He still has plenty of room. So there's that much room. I can even pull it out. This thing last did, did not pop, which is awesome. He did not try to shred the, the warmth of this. He, I think he knows. So uh, this all can get tucked in there like that. I think he was on the wrong side. I think I set it up not, not right, but he used it. It worked good. He stayed nice and warm. Get my gators on later on. Gators are, are imperative for short boots like this in the wintertime, in my opinion, at least. Uh-huh, uh-huh.
What you doing? Hey? All right. <laughs> we'll leave you alone. Look at his tail. His happy, happy dog. Look at his tail going. Are you my happy boy? <laughs> Good morning, big guy. You gotta love that glow. At this point, the snow just melts when it hits the water for a little bit at least until it cools, cools down enough. There we go. Throw that back on. And then we'll have a whole pot of water. The dog. The dog. Oh, the dog. Oh, good boy. This is all he wants. He just wants this. <laughs> he just wants to play tug. He's a good boy. He's a good dog. Getting snow all in my boots. Out. Good boy. Snow all in my boots. <laughs> One, two, three. It's not quite hot enough there, but it's too hot below. So I'll stick it up there for now, get nice and smoked out, and then, and then I'll drop it down. That's what I'll do. It's just a crow, buddy. Just a bird. Oh, hello, Tripper. second I put it on, it starts to flame.
Oh, this poor guy lost the battle. Fell right in. Tripper! Come here, buddy. He owns his bacon. Look at his eyes. How oh, crazy it is! Crazy, crazy, crazy! Here. Those logs are catching. I can roll them around in the snow after. Oh, he won. Oh, he's a strong boy. He's a strong boy. Out. Good boy. All right, we're calling this all done. Sizzle boy. Yeah, these are done. <laughs> I'm just joking, it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, buddy, careful. He's trying to catch the ashes floating in the air. It's not that important, dude. All right, let's see. That should work. Get my spork, get my oatmeal. I'm all squared away. I got Tripper's food for him, but I'm going to give him some bacon first. I'm sure he will be fine with that. This isn't bad, actually. This isn't half bad, comfort-wise. Uh, but I am outside of the um, ridge, ridge pole. How funny do I look? I immediately regretted it. Instant regret. The trimmer's remorse. All right. Nope, nope. Back, back off, buddy. It's not food for you. Tripper back, man. Mmm, sprucey. It's actually pretty good. Would you like a piece of bacon, Tripper? Here. Go around. It's okay, whatever. Here you go. Good dog. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Almost juicy, smoky, smoky. Very good. Mm, perfect. Cooked to perfection. Um, where did my? Did you guys see where my spork went? Spork. Oh man, what an enjoyable camp this has been. I'm so glad everything worked out with Tripper with the sleeping uh, setup and just how eager he was to go on it and stay on it. The burgers turned out pretty good, except for <laughs> the fact I couldn't pull them apart. It was something new, though. I had a lot of fun. The plastic worked out. I didn't ever really get a big long fire. It's, I'll have to show you after, but it's just created this pit in this one spot from fire after fire after fire, and it's, it's big enough, but it kind of just wants to stay there. And there's a divot, so whenever I try to push the fire up this way, it has a hard time going. In the summertime, I'll have to even it out even more than I did this past past year. But, anyway. Good trip. I had fun with the dog, which is important. Mm. 
little bit of leaf litter in there. And I've been promising this overnighter with Tripper for a while now. I'm glad to deliver. I wanted to do it. I just wanted to make sure everything was, was right. I didn't want to have to bail, you know what I mean? That's why... Say I come out here with the dog for the day and everything's good and then like by nighttime he's shivering and wants to go home. I can't very well like leave and come back. You know what I mean? So then that's that whole trip video just not there for you guys. I wanted to get it out. So anyways, glad that it's worked out. Next next winter thing with him will be in a hot tent. Probably do that in the new year, maybe February. Um, but we'll, we'll still take him on day trips and stuff. But as far as camping, I do need that hot tent, I believe, with, with him to keep him. Uh, comfortable this was an anomaly like I can barely see my breath I don't have my gloves on it's like plus one zero negative one I don't know something like that Celsius like two weeks ago I went and camped in negative 20 and my hands like before the windshield my hands were so numb it was ridiculous so um, anyway my point is this is not the norm and it's only gonna get colder so the hot tent will be imperative for him he's just running around like a fool but it's good though i'm glad i'm glad we, he wasn't cold i'm glad he g g gets to run around and have fun out here and doesn't feel like he needs to lay on that blanket the whole time or that pad the whole time i hope you guys enjoyed the video like i said i had a good time i have a couple special videos coming i don't i have two special videos coming different ones than normal I don't know if I'll post this and then those two in succession, or one's going to come up before this. I'm really not sure, but regardless, I have two different things in the works that I hope go over well. I hope you guys enjoy. But then after that, excuse me, it's back to normal stuff. I'm going to be out here at the floor. I'm going to be. I, I really do want to do that extended winter camp with him. I want to go on a, like a snowshoe backpack, two snowshoe backpacking trips. I want to use my hammock, my new hammock on one, and I also got a lightweight. Uh, actually, this will be like I'll pull a sled for this one. I got a lightweight uh, ni uh, sill nylon TP set up with this wood stove in there, and it's a, it's a one person, and it's super lightweight. So that the point behind that one is I can use it in the spring on a canoe trip or late fall on a canoe trip. Even if I get soaking wet all day long, I'll be able to go in there and know I have a, an extremely warm spot, safe spot to warm up, as opposed to like three years ago in the spring when I had a tarp and for five four nights had to sit by the fire and, and dry all my clothes and warm up and stuff so which was an experience and i'm glad it happened but now i have this so it'll be helpful anyways lots of uh lots of leaf litter in my mouth lots of new ideas for the new year lots of plans but it's super happy with the progress of my channel lately with the views i've been getting i really appreciate it um what can i say thank you all for watching for continued support um, I'm on Instagram, like I said. I'm on Twitter, like I said. Um, Bunkerbranding.com if you want to buy some merch. Also, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, we wrote a book, a children's book, Scout Goes Camping. And um, that's been up for sale for quite some time now. I'll put a link to that one as well. It's pretty cool. I'm very proud of that one. It's a good legacy for them. Um, yeah. Have a Merry Christmas. This will probably be out after that, but it's a few days from now, so have a Merry Christmas. Be kind to one another. Be safe. Have a Happy New Year. And I'll see you in the New Year. I've been doing this a long time, guys. 12 years or so. I have big plans this year. That's something in the works. It's going to change everything. Goodbye. Say bye, Tripper. <laughs> Leave me alone, bruh. Chew my tire. <laughs>